Warning! This game may contain graphic, grotesque, or just all-around gross images, language, or other things. If you don't want to be scared, don't watch. You've been warned. Hey everybody, what's up? Ultramatic64 here, and welcome back to Friday Night Frights! This week we're playing the Cat Lady! The lady about cats, or who loves cats? Maybe. Because she's not a dog person, by the title alone. So, uh, yeah, this apparently looks like some sort of point-and-click adventure type of game with horror elements and all that jazz, so I don't know. Uh, we're just gonna jump in and find out what the heck this game's all about. My name is Susan Ashworth. Okay. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Fantastic. My kind of lady. Your cat's creepy. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true. But I don't like people's company. Not Same lately, here. anyway. I can understand this. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly. But they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Right after that very striking uh, art style, I kind of like it. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. You shouldn't do that! They're illegal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. You really shouldn't do that! But I've taken 34 of them. Good gravy, lady! Find in the cupboard. And that... now the room around me spins in a blurry tango. Well, yeah! My heart slows down. Really shouldn't do that. You're gonna mess your, your brain up there. Any second now, I will be dead. Well, that's no fun. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. Wow, not even five minutes in, I'm already dead. I'm sensing a trend here. <laughs> I've only got one thing to say now. Oh. You. Goodbye. So what caused all this? Like, there must have been something? Oh, that's neat. I just wanted a clock to do that. That'd be cool. House in the woods! Are we gonna get some Friday the 13th going on here? Okay, I'm guessing that's UI or whatever. Harvester Games presents. Mm-hmm. Also, if you can't tell, this game's very old. I'm guessing by the resolution and the fact that you know it—it it kind of looks old. I don't actually know how old. I think it actually came out in, like, 2013. Kinda just walking along here. Alright, press up to open... Or to... Yeah, open interaction menu. Toggle through available options with up and down. Press enter to confirm. I don't like that this requires the arrow keys. And there's no way to uh, change them in the options menu. I feel strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock to get inside. It's locked. Well, I just want to make sure you never know. What? Huh? That's interesting. Like I said, very striking art style. I kind of like it. Use of color and stuff like that. Can I have to interact with this car? Can I do anything with this car? Okay, I guess I can't. That's fine. Didn't want to do anything with your car anyway. Wait, hang on, what does that say? Of pedestrian access! I'm not a pedestrian, I'm a let's player, darn it! I have special privileges!
Hello? Hey, whatever person's game. I, I wasn't aware that text would make me jump scare a little bit. Open direction menu. It's an ambulance! We must be in like London or something. Because that's. I'm just blocking access to the tunnel exit. Maybe there's no exit at all! Let's open the door. Let's see if inside! Locked. Okay. Let's go get back. I'm not quite sure what to do here. Let me just make sure. No, it's it's locked, lady. Oh, I, I hit the wrong button. I actually wasn't reading that. I can't go any further. Uh huh. The Amazon's blocking access to the exit. Maybe there's no exit at all. Okay, so there's nothing to worry about there. Okay. I guess I'm going backwards. Huh? What's making that noise? I don't know. Hello? Who's there? Answer me. Yeah, we must be in Britain or something. That, that, okay, that did startle me a bit. Sure, why not? It's me, my whole dead body, right in front of my eyes! Are we in an out-of-body experience here? What's it doing here? <laughs> well, funny you should ask. Oh, just, just watch. She's gonna jump for the camera, I know. Am I supposed to be looking for something? I don't know. Hey, what's that thing? Is that a key in her mouth? In my mouth? Better take it with me. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh. Oh, I bet that's the key to the thing! Okay, I'm out of here. Uh huh. Oh! I think I died. Nope, I'm good! I ran out of like a champ. Is there a, is there a run button? I'll be honest, this is gonna get really, really slow, really fast, if there is no run button. Whoa, a deer! What you do? Where are you going, buddy? Should we follow the deer? I say follow the deer! Deers always lead to good things. Let us follow this deer. See what the heck's going on with this deer. Where are you going, deer? Think you're gonna leave me behind, girl? You ain't got nothing! Oh. Well, <laughs> that turned morbid fast. Hanging body. Summon. My dead body is hanging from tree. What is with you and your dead body, girl? I should be scared, but I just feel empty. Wait, what's that shiny thing on around her neck? Is that a key? The body's too high. I can't reach. Okay. Always with the, always with the things. Open. There's some bolts on the other side. Okay, so we can't, can we, let's try this key. You know what? Okay, so. Alright, so looks like we can't do anything now. So I shall return. Me. Is there a run button? 
Whoa, what the? This is different. Why? I should have used the stupid key when I had the chance. Now I'm kind of stuck, aren't I? There's not my head stuck in the bars. Backwards now. Okay, wait a minute. Oh no, wait. We already went here. Bro, what are you doing? Where are you going? I guess we're following a crow now. Is that fire? It looks like fire. Bird. Okay, hang on. Looks like some. Looks like bird wants me to do something. I guess I follow the bird because that car wasn't there before. Okay. Maybe I can do something with it. Okay. Um, okay. All of them are a little confused. This game got. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. I'm not. I wasn't here before. Sake, not the deer. I'm just gonna. I'm not even gonna bother. Why? He was so young. Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. How did you? How does that work? How does how does anything work like that? I I I, I only went one direction. This brain's gonna kill me. Wait, what? That made no sense. This game's gonna kill me with, with its 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 brain logic. here now hey the crow's gone I still feel like I should have used that key on that thing but I didn't oh I hate games where you have to put the key in the lock because it's just annoying it's like you know I have the key just put, just put it in there who are you? Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. Hello. I have been waiting for you, my dear. Good. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who? If this is your definition of a fine day, lady, I, I got news for you. A dear died. Names. It's hard to pick one. But I'm curious. Who do you think I am? Hmm. I'm gonna go with the obvious answer. Death? Interesting. Yes, perhaps that's what I am. I come when there's something to take, but I never give anything back. I am doomed. But I'm salvation, too. I'm feared by most, but adored by some also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. I don't even know you. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while, keeping you Oh well, yeah, company. she's old. Always there, you know? Always there. So I was wrong. You're not death? No, I am not. What thing what are you? I am life. 
But then again, does it really matter? Let's find out what the heck's going on what here. What is this place? This, my dear, is my humble kingdom. And this house is my castle. Really horrible castle. I rarely invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. But you are a special guest. And I'm going to make an exception. Me? You lost your voice, especially. I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me, lady. Don't bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. Today, you are my guest of honor. What will happen next? Depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An she offer. made me feel special! What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. Yeah, sure, go into the lady's house where her gate's adorned with animal heads. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Please don't touch anything, dear. But it's How crooked! You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lie to yourself. But it's crooked! You need to fix it! No! No, it needs to be fixed! You're bugging me. Can you just fix now the painting? We can talk properly, my dear. Can you fix the painting first? Is there an option to say fix the painting? I still don't really know who you are. I go by many names. Give me I've one of them. I've never paid much notice to what the living call me. But there is one name the fallen ones use when I speak to them. I find it most accurate. The Queen of Maggots. Is that what you are? Why maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. Dead and gone. She's not wrong there. I guess that's me. Mm. Is there anyone else here? <laughs> Why? I thought you liked being alone. Isn't that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. Creepy! So, everything. Even I creepier! Know what you want, but it's not here. It's gone, and it will never, ever come again. I have no reason to live. Please, just let me go. I tried. I really did. But it's never going to be okay. Who knows? Maybe. But one way or the other. This isn't the end of your story. It's only the beginning, my dear. And there are great things waiting for you. Believe me. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. Again, I creepy. don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows? Uh, it could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. 
So like I said, I'm going to make you an Well, at least she's an all-powerful thingamabob, so I mean, I've got that rolling for me. I will me. give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. One does not simply forget. One buries it. What do you want me to do? Yes. I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Oh, Joy, I can't wait to see what else is happening. Can I fix this painting now? I do not like this lady. What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as God. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. Why? I need you to go back and face five people. They're Why? not ordinary people. They're very special. Just like you. Only in a slightly different way. Get to the point! You're losing me. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Aren't you afraid I will let you down? Whatever it is I have to do. Most days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. I don't see the point in anything. I just want to disappear. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Well, Every that's hitting rather close to home. Filled with hope and will to live. Or people so pitiful, they make me ashamed to be alive. I don't want them. There's nobody there for me. I am alone. I just want to vanish. Yeah, that's it real close to home. Thank you this for stopping that. This is the very reason I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I know how you feel. Because I felt like this myself for a very long time. You and me are very much alike. If you succeed, you will never feel broken again. Those five people, who are they? The parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As homeless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage. This is a them. long cutscene. This is Metal Gear. No. Like you levels of cutscene. What it means? You will become my hunter, serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life, and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But... how will I recognize them? So isn't the great Just kill everybody until you find life? them. Is I mean, there, Susan, there you, you go. That's one right way to do it. Them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Are you expecting me to kill them? No, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. 
I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. You haven't met me yet. also know that you don't want to suffer. And those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference. The difference, not a difference. to save yourself. What makes you think I want to go back? I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want can this we, suffering. Can we just wrap this Stop. up? Dear, dear Susan, you don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. Can, can I just stop the... I can't do this. Do it's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. You cannot die, Susan. Oh, isn't that a kick in the teeth? You always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. It's blackmail. You can't do that. I'm doing it for your own good. And okay, I would, I'd have been fine with this. I'm like, okay, I you guess we'll get started then. Do what you have to do. And suffer for eternity, forever unable to find your peace. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you, Susan. I mean, the game had a good Susan start to it. Now it's just kind of slowed to a halt. I mean, I like the characters, but there my head went. Let's go inside. Oh, okay. Never mind. Apparently my head's I fine. want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. I mean, the characters are fine, but it's like, good gravy, this is a long cutscene. This is probably really boring to watch. Oh, that's lovely. Yes, it's you, Susan. Come close. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assume it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you'd endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going Long I guess I'm gonna have to put a content come. warning up for this, isn't I? Wait, hang on, there's a crowbar. I can't go that way. Can't go that way either. Okay, we're just, just gonna talk to death here. Again. Susan, 
It's time to make a decision. Oh. The parasites are coming whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. I gotta say, they you really have a good, yourself. like, slightly disturbing theme going on. I kind of like it. I take orders from nobody. I'll do it my way. Don't you understand? There is no other way. Well, I don't know that. Besides, you could be lying to me. How do I know you aren't? I'm no murderer. I don't want to be. I'll find another way without you. What? Look, I appreciate you giving me another chance. Don't get me wrong. I can see now that I've made a mistake. And I'm ready to try to fix my life. But I really don't like what you're saying. If there's one thing I learned in life, it's that people let you down all the time. If I don't rely on myself, I can't rely on anyone else. You fool. You damned arrogant fool. You have no idea what you have just done. No, I don't. I, I really don't. I just but wanted to end this conversation. I have it your way. In the end, I will be the one laughing at you. I always am. Who are you to push me around? As far as I know, you're just a crazy old woman. You'll eat those words, Ashworth. Perhaps I will. I don't really care. Yeah. Just leave me alone. At this point, I really don't anymore. You will regret this. This will be interesting. So I'm guessing there's like branching paths. Okay, it'll be fine. I don't need her. I'm sure I'll figure out. Because I think to I do. just, I, I think I probably just boned myself. Oh. Oh, okay. So the game does pause. I can't get through these. What the hell are they anyway? Take a big guess, lady. Hmm. A queen of maggots. I wonder what that could possibly be. Woo. Wonder what's going on there. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. Yeah, I'm guessing a content warning is probably a good idea in this. I think that's enough for now. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, look at that! Can we fix this darn painting? Nobody ever lets me do anything. What Whoa. the? How did I get back here? Your question is as good as mine. As in why? I'm completely lost. I swear if this wraps around again. No wait, this looks... No, no, this looks like the same path I, I followed the deer on. Hey, now we can use that key on that shed that I totally should have done. Gotta say, the game doesn't... Pull punches! There's a lot of disturbing imagery in this. A whole lot. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, okay, that was cutscene. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, hang on, I can use, hang on, hang on, hang on. I could use this to pull those things out. Yeah.
Oh! Um. Ouch! Alrighty then. Note to self. Don't put your hand in holes. That you don't understand. Did I win the game? Apparently I was doing something. Oh, apparently that was supposed to happen, I guess. Okay. Wow. I gotta hand it to him. Like, this is... Wow. I don't think I've played a... Did I die? Did I lose? What happened? Is that game over? Oh, no. Never mind. That was just the opening bit. Good gravy! That was the opening! We didn't even get to the first thing yet, I guess. I gotta say though, a solid start. You have but you have my interest. You had my interest, now you have my attention. <laughs> okay, so we beat chapter one. Cool. Second first breath. Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patience are my canvas, but my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human minds and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, it's not that. It's just, I really didn't expect them to put subtitles. You guys probably can't read those because my face is in the way, sorry. I'd really like to go home. I really didn't think of about that. Course, I probably should have put it at the and bottom go there. Home you will. Oh well. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts? Well, I don't think that's fair. Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? Ink blot one or ink blot two? Oh, is this me? She's awake, Doctor. Oh, no, nope, that's not me. Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. What happened? My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Is this picking up where I left Could off? You confirm your name for me, please. Susan Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy funny, for a couple of days, the subtitles but that said Mrs. Ashworth and he said Susan. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please let them know if you need anything. Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. Please, don't try to speak. What did you say? I didn't say anything! Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. 
Okay. Would you like me to get you to some happen. water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. Your microphone's a little less than optimal. I mean, good show, but just saying, I can notice. And then again, my mic works not mm, anything special either. It's like watching a movie. Said, I'm sorry, Susan. Don't do much. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds, and I'm gone. You My name is Liz, okay. by the way. I. I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe I'm... me, I hate waking people up just for this. Is, it, is she Scottish? Being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. She sounds Oof, Scottish. I hate this place. I love Scottish accents. Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, you sure I can. shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. She's totally Scottish. You doing what you've done, and her walking in, seeing what she saw. What? That was a chance. One in a million. Huh? I'm not making any sense again, am I? No, I'm you're... tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18 year old. Yay. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? Love her accent. She's my favorite. Okay, can I do any... Okay, I guess not. Am I ever gonna get out of the bed? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's not how lights work. Could be wrong on that, though. I'm no light expert. Bad dream. You could say. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna really be nice to her, because I like her. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woken you up. No, you should have! What was it about? Nightmares are horrible. I was burnt alive. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. There was this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't well at all. Not just injured, but not right in the head. She was on 10 litres of oxygen through the face mask. Is that she a lot? To stay in bed. She I'm guessing that's a lot. But she I should be shocked by that, right? And as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fag. The whole room went up in flames, and so did she. Yeah? I guess you didn't really want to know that, did you? That's just me and my big gob. Typical. I never know when to shut up. What happened to me? I don't want to seem oh, rude. How much do you remember? I don't remember I, her name, though. I took some pills, and I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. Where's my cat? I felt so calm, and then... All of a sudden... I'll be truthful to her, because again, I like her. Barley. It was great at first. Well, why everybody else? I felt happy. I was free. But it soon got worse. There was this tunnel, but there was no light at the end of it. Only darkness. Then I got lost in the woods. There was my dead body hanged on the tree. A burning car, and a crow, and a deer. I heard something Rest behind the trees, you, but I didn't dare to look. Then I found the house. The old woman who lived there. I think she was death. Or maybe she was the devil. I'm not sure. She said they call her the Queen of Maggots. She said I should go back. Gave me another chance. And so, here I am. Weird dream, eh? Maybe it wasn't a dream. I really believe in that sort of stuff. It's not impossible. 
It felt real. I don't know if I should trust her now. It was just a dream. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? I don't know if I should well, trust her now. Your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. I have a daughter. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you would sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Apparently, I don't even know I have a daughter. Why'd you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied? It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. How long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at seven in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. <sighs> it's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward because all the patients who come here want to die. It's a suicide watch unit. Okay. That's I why was like, it's so, uh, so I'm dying? You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him... Dr. X. X. He's the chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you. And he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Tell me more about this Let's find Dr. out more about X. this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman. Ooh. Everyone just calls him Professor Dr. X. X. He comes on the ward often. Usually We're gonna get X better. We're gonna get superpowers. I wanna, I wanna be Nightcrawler. I Can I be Nightcrawler? I call Nightcrawler. Him. But you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some... problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. I love this game, but at the same mean, time, these cutscenes go way too long hair. with the branching Stop dialogue paths that flesh out the characters, but also don't add anything to the story, in my opinion, as far as I can tell right now. But it's just like, oh my gosh, just get to the point! They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him. Personally, well, one thing, maybe. Don't laugh, okay? He's I gotta admit, the characters are smell. really good. What do you mean? He smells funny. I don't know. Like, the acting is really maybe good. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh, thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it... There's something else, too. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. We'll see about that. I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. We'll see about private. that. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about, and we haven't even started those sessions yet. Again, we'll Be see. Be prepared for that. Sure. But 
It's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. We'll I see! I very clear when I swallowed those pills. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? You, you don't. don't. Ah! But do I really look like a bad person to you? I don't know. Uh, Everybody can look like a bad person. What's know. a bad person Maybe look not. like? I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. I, I kind of like this. It kind of sets up like a you don't know who you can trust, so don't trust anybody right? type of scenario. Like, I don't know if she's lying to me about Dr. X, and I don't know if Dr. X is a good guy or not. So we'll start with a little chat this is about interesting. your childhood. I kind of like it. I want you to be as honest as This cutscene's going on way too long it's and I'm not doing anything, which kind of sucks. To get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. Can I move? Okay. I... I wanted to see if something would happen if I actually went to 10. Okay, I'm This isn't all about whether it. you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? I was brought up without a father. I understand he wasn't there when you were growing up. Can you tell me why? What happened to him? He... died in an accident. I'm not sure what exactly happened. All I know is that it was a car crash. See, I'm gonna piece together the whole instantly. thing inside her head. I'm gonna do it. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? I lost her when I, I was lost everybody. A child. I, I died everybody. So you lost your mum as well. Everybody died. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. What happened? She committed suicide. I will never know why she did it. She was acting strange all week. Sometimes she wouldn't say a single word all day. I feel like then the momentum of this game went from this always about something silly to kind of didn't it's really flatline matter. now. I mean, I, I, I like this. I like this a lot. It's really cool. It touches subjects that games don't normally like to touch on. We had a gun in the house. And it, it feels like it does a it fairly rifle. well from it was in this a box limited time I played joke, it, but at the so same time, reach this it. is, I, I imagine, boring to watch for you guys because I'm not doing anything. I did. I woke up one night when I heard some strange noises. I sneaked up to the living room and saw my mother take the rifle out of the box. I followed her as she went downstairs to the cellar. I will always remember the sound that gun made and the sound of my mother's brain splattered all over the cellar wall. You certainly had a very traumatic childhood, Susan. I'm sorry. I can only try to understand what it feels like to lose a parent. But it's clear to me that your problems are rooted deep in your childhood. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's can we get the gameplay, please? And we will talk about something else. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, nope, I can't I move need now. To get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. And I gotta see my cat. I'm gonna name him Tinkles.
gonna take a lot of gloves. Okay, cool. I'm out of here. Wait, there was a sink. Eh, yeah, forget it. I don't need sinks. Well, fine then. Hello. I guess I should wait my turn. Okay. Wait a minute. Thought I heard something. Oh, there's just ambient sound effects. Yo, guys, so Excuse me, where's the exit? It's just down the corridor, ma'am. Thanks. I'll be on my way then. Can I see the discharge letter first? A discharge letter? What for? Some of our patients are under observation and aren't allowed out of the ward. For their own safety, of course. It sounds like we're prisoners here. It's for the patient's safety, ma'am. If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. May I ask what your name is? I'll come back later. Please do, ma'am. We'll be right here. Oh, wait, hang on, that was... Uh, I meant to read that. Okay. Oh, I want to read whatever she wishes. Okay. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Okay, so we have to distract them somehow. Is Liz here? And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. Black hair, very chatty. She said her name was Liz. Um, I'm sorry, a lot of people come through here. I can't remember everyone's name. Can you return to your bed now, please? It's nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every single patient. Beg your pardon? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. Do I I'll come and talk to you in a minute, all right? All right, so we have to find a way to make her go away. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, that's not me. Okay, we are. Hi, are you all right? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's Mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. You um, need a pop filter, my yeah, friend. Yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? 
Oh, well... What is my mother's name? Hmm... Oh, dear. Uh... Oh... Elizabeth, Elizabeth sounds like a right name. No, you're wrong. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Okay, so hang on. Bet you I can... I guess, wait, that's... Wait, I thought she was side room too. I guess not. And one, and her name is on drug abuse. Uh. I guess, hang on. Bet you there's a way. <clears throat> for us to find out who she is. Okay. Or who her mother is. Let's try, um... Doobie doobie doo. Try going through these folders. Okay. Alright, just gonna... Uh-huh, that's who we need to know. Impatient. So she's gonna admit herself. Uh-huh. Um... Try talking to this nurse again. Can I make a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? Thanks. Okay, so... Uh... Am I going to go through... You really are a friend. You will know my mother's okay, name. Okay, good. The good. name that haunts me. Because I was like, I don't want to go through all those dialogue name. options again. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Anne Burton. No, that's my name. You don't know my mother, you little liar. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Okay, I kind of knew that was her name, but... Okay, I guess I can go past her. So maybe there was something in here that I probably should have looked at. I probably screwed this up royally now. Okay, so that should fog up the mirror, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure. There we go. Mm. Something I'm missing here.
I must be missing something. What if I try... Oops, wrong button. Ah! Ah! See, look! I knew! I knew if I... If I waited long enough. E-I-L. Lie. Oh. Well then. Lie. Lie, 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 lie. Why would they ask me to lie? If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Alice. No. Let's just wrong. go down the list. Leave What's the worst that's gonna happen? Please, just leave me alone. I imagine the game will kick me once I, once I do too many times. But I'm gonna do it anyway. If you really are a friend, because it looks like they're not punishing me in any way, shape, or form. The name that haunts me. A beautiful. And I can't name. find any information but about this it. chick, so Let I'm just going with just it. Just think for a second. And yes, the reason I'm going over is because. Okay, that's we tried that one, tried that one, and. Mandy. No. You're wrong. Leave me alone. Can I fast forward through you, please? please. I don't care. Just about leave your, me alone. Your wrongness of your mother. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Joan. No. You're wrong. I feel leave like she's alone. just tricking us. She's please. just like, haha, I, just my mother's not alone. on any of that list. I don't know. You really are a friend, like, can I just threaten her with this piece of glass and be done with it? Name. The name that haunts I mean, I kind of me. picked it up for a reason. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. What if I try calling the... the... Sarah. No. What if I try calling the people? Oops. Not what I want to do. Hang on, we just wait for the lie to appear and then we. Okay, no, I don't need to read that. Um, what if I, okay, there's nothing I need to do with that, okay. Are we getting an escape call? Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? I pressed it by mistake. I think there's something Sorry. we can do with that, because she's oh. at the front end. If we can get All her right. to leave... It happens, I guess. I'll see you later. If we can get her to leave her post for long enough, I bet you we can... If we clog this toilet, maybe. No, not what I want to do. No. Get out of here. Okay. Okay, maybe if I use the toilet... Slightly inappropriate, but okay. This is uncomfortable. I'm, I'm glad I have the, the thing going. 
Alright, let's see what happens if we press it and just say, like, the Coilix Clock! I don't know what to do! Oh, whatever will I do? Can I... I wish I could walk out of here. Someone is coming. I knew someone's coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Uh, da -da. I'm feeling a bit woozy. Are you really? You look fine to me. No, I I'm really not feeling well. Fine, I'll call the doctor for you. But I can't help it if he's busy and can't get here straight away. In the meantime, I know how to make you feel better. I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Anne Burton, born in 1975. Let me just check your name back quickly. Miss Ashworth, I think you got a little confused there. Drink this liquid now. It'll make you all better. Are you insane? I'm not taking any medication. I'm not ill. Okay, yeah, this didn't turn out half as good as I thought it would. Jim, can you come in, please? You must no, be kidding me. What's up? Unfortunately, I'm not. I think I don't goof. I'm going to give you an injection. You'll feel a sharp scratch. Hold it for me, would you? Oh, maybe I didn't do something wrong. Hang on. Oh, no, maybe I did. Did I do it? I don't know what I did. Now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. I probably shouldn't have said that. Oh. Maybe I was supposed to do this. This is weird. Whoa. Alrighty then. I don't think I want to go back to my room. Why what happens? Let's just find out what happens. <laughs> oh, apparently I already used it. Okay. Wait, hang on. What if I... Never mind. I'm going this way. I'm not sure I'm doing things right. Whoa, the colors. What does that sound? Okay, that's the door. That wobbly thing's cool, but it's also disorienting. Let's all get out. I don't know if I did that. Oh, here we go. Okay. So what if I... Yeah, I did it. Do I drink this now? Apparently! I have enough drugs already. Drinking this would probably kill me. Okay then. Good to know. Do I give this? Who do I? Who would I give this to, though? I mean, there's not exactly anybody around. If I, oops, wrong one. Nope, not what I meant to do. Let's enter. Whoa, that's gone now. So weird. Okay, I can't use the toilet. All right, so I got drugs in my cup. Sure. 
This game's really interesting. Okay, my food. I'm guessing that's all I needed to do, because that was all I could do. Yeah, see now I got the now I got the red juices. The drugs have worn off and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. Alrighty then. So I wonder if I drink this now. Okay. I wonder if we give it to her. Hang on. Go away. Please, just leave me alone. Mother's always told me not to accept any gifts from strangers. Ah, uh, so we gotta make her... Okay, so we gotta you make really her believe we're, we're her friend. So we can give her the name. drugs and the then make her freak you. out. And have the, the people name. come over and we grab her things it. and leave. Let me just think for a second. I'm guessing. Sheila. I don't know how yes. I got that. It was my mother who sent you, after all. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. I got so something for that. Let's have a little chat, sweetheart. Do you know how to get out of here? We're not supposed to get out. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being good. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. Huh. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering, but it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I see. How about we swap our name bands? Oh yeah, I don't mind. But that would be like a favor to you, yeah? Well, technically, you wouldn't lose anything, because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make any sense? Sure, yeah. I We're do want something here. better in return, though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. Oh, I never said you're stupid. I... I just really want to go home. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? Oh, it's almost like I had a plan I here. Give it to you anyway. You all no, thought I was being silly, didn't you? I'm talking uh -huh. about the real thing. Something you can only get in the world of dreams. Now that is something special. Is it safe? It's perfectly safe. Um, okay. I'll see what I can do. Guess what I got for you? About these name bands. Oh yeah, I don't mind. We can swap our name bands as soon as you bring me the red Well, I would, stuff. but you won't let me out of this conversation remember, tree. remember, it's hidden. You have to follow the heartbeat of the spider. I've already got it's it. It's right there, in the world of dreams. I've already got it. In the world of nightmares. I've already got it. What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? I've already got it! Let it's me leave this conversation! Your pure happiness. They bring it, I drink it down, and my pain goes away. Pop filter! Without Learn it, it! I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's funny, but I just get so fucking angry sometimes. Language! I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it. But I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Does he know? Who? Him! 
Doctor Professor right. X. Okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. I've got it if you'll shut I up. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. I've got it. Maybe I could get you some of that F. stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or maybe you can. If you shut up, I'll do whatever I you want. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so I near. I already have it. Yet so far. I already planned I can ahead still for this. Hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. Can I just leave? You cannot get out of this conversation tree. Oh, here I'll we go. Talk to you yes, later. thank you. Yeah? Yes, go. Uh, be careful. They're watching us. That's fine. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. I don't need to be Always nice. Be nice. I'm not nice. Poor woman. Yeah, no, I've got the, here. Take this. No. Take I've it. found the thing you asked me for, but are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now? Please? She can do whatever she yes. wants after I get that name. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. What do they? You know what? It doesn't matter. Nope, it doesn't. I just want her name bad and to get out of here. Thank you for your help. Make sure you drink all that red stuff. Just do. Why is she following me? Please do not touch these. They I am the lady! Documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Oh, I wonder if I'm supposed to do, um... Here, hang on. I wonder if I'm supposed to do the drug thing again, but as her. Because maybe that'll give me a different result. I don't know. Let's find out. This might be bad. And yes, we're going over again, like I said. If you're still watching, congrats, you've made it this Someone far. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Sure. I just wanted to remind you that I'm ready to go home. Oh, is that so? Well, guess what? I haven't forgotten. It takes time. I could lose my job if I don't follow the correct procedures. You've got my papers right over there. Why do I bother? I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Anne Burton, born in 1975. Let me just check your name band quickly. Anne Burton. That's fine. I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. Huh, I think you got a little confused there, Miss Burton. Good job I spotted this. You wouldn't want to get the wrong medication, would you? Here's your sedative and your methadone. I'm sure you were waiting for this, weren't you, sweetheart? I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. What? Huh, I think you got a little confused there, Miss Burton. Okay, now you're, now you're going in circles. I this. You wouldn't want to get the wrong medication, would you? Here's your sedative and your methadone. She just repeated that. I'm sure you were waiting for this one. I was, I was half paying attention. Let's see what That's happens. That's a good girl. Now, drink it down. You'll feel much better. Let's see what happens. Maybe we'll find something different this time. Now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. Alright, doesn't look like anything changed. Yeah. Looks like this is a waste of time. But might as well just check, just in case. Yeah. 
my time. Which seems rather odd. I mean, I need my discharge papers. Maybe I'm supposed to talk to her. Let me try that. Guess we will try that. Okay, fantastic. The drugs have worn off and I feel better now. Yeah, but I, I can't uh -huh. let them do that to me again. Uh -huh. Yeah, we already I need did, we, to get out of here. We already went through that. We already went through that and I already did it. So, uh, yeah, you didn't you didn't you didn't fool nobody. All right. Let's try talking to you. I'd like to go home now. Well, so would I. But there are procedures and a system in place. I can't just let you go like that. What? What do you need? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. Doing what? I'll come and talk to you in a minute, all right? This lady. I feel much better now. Can you please discharge me? I'm glad to hear that. But I can't discharge you until Dr. X sees you. He should be doing his round very soon. Please return to your bed and wait for him, all right? Okay. I, I give up. I give up. I, I guess I'm just gonna go to go to bed. I don't I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get out of here. Unless I can get my papers. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, wait. Didn't they say this discharge paper? Let me discharge letter for Ann Burton, currently efficient visitor. To make sure you've been yourself at the hospital, but he's gonna have watch you do, show this letter and security guard outside. Okay. So we have to figure out how to get No, I wanna read I wanna okay, I guess I can't talk to you. Okay. That's fine. There's gotta be something more I can do here. I just have to figure it out. Cause I bet I could get someone is coming. Maybe get past him, like, and have him long enough so I can take the papers. But no. Have you rang the bell? Is there Gotta an wait, emergency? Wait, like, good girl. I wanted to see how long it takes you to answer the bell. Look, I'm a nurse. I have a lot of paperwork to do. We're doing our best here. It's not my fault that suicidal fruitcakes like you come here and scratch and piss on the bloody walls. Hey. Don't speak to me like that. I'm not suicidal, and I'm not a fruitcake, and I didn't scratch anything, let alone pissing on the walls. Why do I bother? I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? I'll have your name, so I can make a big fat complaint. There is no need for that attitude. First, you were being disruptive when I'm just trying to do my paperwork. And now you are threatening me! Oh, you should know we are only following the doctor's orders here. Now, forget that silliness and let me have a quick look at your wristband. And Burton, that's fine. You wouldn't want to get the wrong medication, would you? I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. Huh, I think you got a little confused there, Miss Burton. Good job I spotted this. You wouldn't want to get the wrong medication, would you? Here's your sedative and your methadone. I'm sure you were waiting for this, weren't you, sweetheart? I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. Huh, I think you got a little confused there, Miss Burton. Good job I spotted this. 
You wouldn't want to get the wrong medication, would you? Here's your sedative and your methadone. I'm sure you were waiting for this, weren't you, sweetheart? That's a good girl. Now, drink it down. You'll feel much better. Now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. The drugs have worn off, and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. <laughs> 